Hey guys, welcome back to stage four of our Transit Custom Camper Build. Today we're going to be focusing on fitting the new ply floor. So these are the products that we've got. We've ordered the pre-cut CNC cut ply floor, um, 12 millimeters thick, and it's been supplied by a company called Custom Shop Designs. So these guys came uh, recommended, really great service overnight. So ordered these on a Thursday and arrived with us on Friday, the next day. So really happy, I'm um, gonna unwrap these now, do a bit of a dry fit into the back of the van, make sure that they're all okay. And then we'll take you through the fixing process. So ply panels come in these two separate parts, one for the front and one for the rear. Um, we're gonna get these fitted, I'm gonna do the um, Part next to the cab first and then move back to the back of the van. As we did the dry fit, we hit just a little snag. Uh, because these floors are cut to go absolutely square up to, to the wheel arches, and because we have already got some insulation on there as well, um, these were a little bit tight. So we didn't want to sort of squeeze them in or, or manhandle them in. So we're gonna have to just cut round, um, probably about five or six mil um, around the, the wheel arch sections just to make sure that these go in nice and snug. Another quick tip, so when we are gonna be attaching the floor down, we wanna be hitting the actual ribs in the floor. So the ribs are sort of here, running the length. So just marked up whereabouts the, the ribs are. So just use a little bit of uh, tape and just sort of marked on the center of each of that, that piece of tape as well. And what that'll do is once the floor's down, we'll have a really good idea of where all the ribs are running. Um, we can mark that out and just make sure we're screwed into the rib and not the, the actual flat metal work of the van. So just trimming this down now with the, with the jigsaw, just taking off a few mil to make sure we've got good clearance now up against that uh, insulation and these should fit nice and snug. So took a little bit of jiggling around, so to speak, but they've got in now nice and snug, um, no gaps. So the fit of these is, is really, really good. Next stage, we're gonna mark up now, get like a grid system just with our markings so we know where we're gonna be um, pre-drilling and screwing. So just marked up all of the floor now. Um, probably a little bit difficult to see this on the video, but basically made sort of a, a grid pattern um, going lengthways and all the way down the van. And where we get these inset points, that's gonna be where we are screwing through our ribs. So the plan is um, pilot holes. We have got self-tapping screws, um, but just gonna do a quick pilot hole, three mil first 
and then get the screws in place. Just so you know, it's not always plain sailing. So when I was pre-drilling the uh, pilot holes ready to fit the, the screws into the floor, I've managed to sever and break two drill bits. Unfortunately, one ended up sort of stuck in the floor, so I had to ply that out, but no problem. Got some more, so we can get that sorted. The other slight problem I ran into is I got these 25 millimeter self-tapping screws and these weren't long enough that's what she said <laughs> so um i've had to pop out and get some longer ones so got those now all ready to go and we can continue drilling in or screwing in our floor There we go, floor all done and installed, all nice and secure. Really happy with how that's gone, looks great. So on to our next stage.